to be sworn in as uh, president, even though the case is still in court. Um, congratulations on the, on, uh, to him pending the case. But there were things that we actually noticed during the inauguration, and somebody actually pointed some of the things out. One of them is Oshomole. Oshomole was told to go and get his right to place at the inauguration. The video is trending online. We see Osimba joining the, the wife actually staring at each other and all that, congratulating each other. We see the face of Aisha, who was very, very serious. There was no smile. And then we talk about the the speechless in inauguration of uh, President Mohammed Buhari. He didn't give a speech. And this is the first time in the history, I think even in the history of the world, I don't know, where a person comes into power and does not give an inaugural speech. I don't know what he was expecting. Even if he were told in just two seconds before he was handed over to or made known that you'll be the president, at least you should have something to say. Even if you will not say, at least Nigerians, thank you for be making me a president. That is an inaugural speech. We accept it. But the man did not say anything. And these are things that gives us cause for concern. And one of the things that has actually kept us on our toes, that has made us to wonder to see if everything is still all right, So one of the things that have kept us on our toes is uh, President Mohamed Dubuari actually jetting out of the country just a few hours after he was made the president. These are things that cause for concern. Is he going to spend a lot of time traveling around the world? What was he traveling for? Even if we have to be cautious when we speak about leaders, but the travel gives us cause for concern, especially for the mission. People are arguing it's Nigerian. An Islamic country is a secular state, and these are the things that we should. So, for him to have traveled that, he was not at the presidential dinner. Notable other notable leaders like Ad Salami, you know, Basajo, and uh, Gulog, they were not at the uh, presidential dinner. These are things that give us cause for concern. They give us cause for concern, and even the man has not even named his cabinet. Here is a leader, the president of South Africa, coming in, 48 hours, he has named his cabinet. What about the president of uh, India coming in and naming his cabinet? So what is our president actually doing? Do you think the fears and the cause of Obasa Joe saying that this man intends to Islamize Nigeria, are these things true? The Fulani radio, the, the trip to organization of Islamic uh, cooperation and all that, are these things true? We, President Buhari spent his years traveling and traveling. Let me know what you think about these issues in the comment section below. Thanks.